How is everybody? Is everyone good? Everyone's kind of faded away, gone sat down for a bit, get out of the wind. I've, I've come all the way from Melbourne um, to occupy Sydney and a bunch of us are going to be coming up over the next few weekends um, as we have been uh, over the last month um, because it's really about time that we started communicating a lot better between all the occupations within Australia, particularly Melbourne and Sydney as two of the biggest cities in Australia. Um, Occupy Melbourne, uh, to sort of report back, it's going really, really strong. Today, World Human Rights Day, which, um, which Occupy Melbourne declared as International Wear a Tent for Human Rights Day, is going really well. Apparently there's over a hundred tent monsters walking down Swanson Street. And then they came back to um, the occupation and they're currently holding Melbourne's 26th uh, General Assembly. Um, and they're talking about, as we speak, they're talking about strategy um, and safety at the occupation. Um, so that's all, that's all fantastic. But I just wanted to say how fantastic it is to come to Occupy Sydney and see that it's here, see that there's infrastructure here, that there's people here at the free school. The free school is, is absolutely amazing. Brilliant discussions going on. Um, which is really, really, really important that this sort of stuff happens, you know, every weekend, if not every day, um, to run workshops on citizen journalism, workshops on facilitating, um, workshops on logistical matters, and, and train up new people, have an, have an occupier's induction um, workshop every day even, you know, get people on board, really, really start to build this thing. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant location you've got here, um, between some of the, the biggest banks in the world and state parliament and some giant commercial media, really relevant central location, absolutely brilliant. Um, so you've got the location down, you've got the infrastructure happening. Don't worry about what the authorities are going to do. If they come in after you, then they're going to come in after you. There's nothing you can do about it. We can fight them in the courts. We can take the responsible legal path, unlike the authorities and our governments tend to do, in taking the path of power. Um, but at the end of the day, keep protesting. 24-hour occupation is a legitimate form of protest. Don't let the police tell you otherwise. We are allowed to be here 24-7. And take it one step further and say to them, if we want to be occupying 24-7 and we want to be protesting 24-7, then why can't we have basic access to shelter from the wind and shelter from the rain and the elements? Surely, surely the city of Sydney, just like the city of Melbourne, should be supporting the constituents and visitors to the municipality, their rights to access to basic um, shelter from the wind and rain. Uh, whilst they're protesting. I mean, how could they deny that from people? Uh, this is Australia, and, and we've really got to start agitating for this idea that Occupy tents are a form of free speech. Just like Orange County City Council in the United States has already unanimously passed. Occupy tents are a form of free speech. We just have to keep saying it. We just have to keep telling them that they are a form of free speech, that we're not going away, that it's been 56 days or however long it's been, we're not going anywhere. And the movement may be ebbing and flowing, but there will come a time where we reach a critical mass. And we, we've gone through two occasions in Melbourne where we had general assemblies of over 2,000 people, and we were starting to get critical mass. Um, we almost secured support from the CFMEU and a bunch of other giant um, trade unions. And this is a slow burning thing. Chomsky said himself, this thing could take you know, two years. It doesn't matter um, if it takes two years, it doesn't matter if it takes 10 years. The whole point behind the entire Occupy movement and everything that we're doing right now is to vocalise our concerns with the issues that, that affect us in our daily lives. To mobilise ourselves, to actually get up off of our asses, throw away your television sets because there's nothing on TV worth watching anymore other than maybe films and some awesome television shows, but you can get them on the internet now. Get up onto our feet and walk into the city and come down here, attend as many protests as you can, talk to people, get the discussion going and start organising ourselves so we can affect positive change. 
We've got to vocalise, we've got to mobilise, and we have to organise. And that's what the Occupy movement is about. And there is a, a growing swell of Australians who, who are really starting to, to wake up to this sort of thing. It's like a, a slumbering giant that's just kind of, you know, woken up, but it's still sitting down, you know? And it's time for us to, to make it stand up, get it walking, you know, get it crawling maybe, you know, you've got to learn to crawl before you can learn to walk. Australia does not have this history of radical activism and mass mobilisation, but there's no reason why we can't build it and can't get it happening. Let's, let's um, teach our, our neighbours and our family and our friends and our communities, our cities and our entire country how to get up off of our asses and start giving a shit because we know that Australians aren't, aren't apathetic. We know that we all care, but the problem is we silently care. We just, we just complain in silence and we don't voice our concerns. So let's spread the word, voice our concerns, mobilise, get up, get up, start moving and organise ourselves to affect positive change and talk to each other within the other Occupy movements because there's a lot that Occupy Melbourne can learn from Occupy Sydney and there's a lot that Occupy Sydney can learn from Occupy Melbourne and that's why I'm here. If anyone wants um, Twitter details for Occupy Melbourne's media team or facilitation or anything else I can give them to you or Facebook or emails and let's start to get these communication links happening because you might get disheartened that there are, you know, only 30 or 50 or however many people are here. But the fact of the matter is, the majority of the population supports the Occupy movement. The majority of the population supports it. Um, thanks very much for listening. I'm going to stick around for a short while and then I've got to disappear. Um, but thanks very much for having me. Thank you.